I request City TV show all of my slides full screen. Not advancing. Got to get my time back. This is going to be very fast, so I've got to go quick. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just tap. Okay, um, these are all the pieces that fit for fixing the problems at the glider port. Uh, oversight by the Torrey Pine City uh, Park Advisory Board is like the most key thing we can have because this brings together uh, gliders, uh, RC gliders, hang gliders, paragliders, uh, Sierra Club for, for uh, 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 environmental causes, Council District 1, and the mayor. Uh, these are all the stakeholders. Uh, management by the park rangers. Uh, four full-time park rangers cost 325000 a year. We got that from the 2019 budget. The 2012 budget, or, or this 2012 profit and loss shows that they made $1.4 million a year. Next slide. Let's assume it hasn't gone up in seven years. That's only half of that is from tandems. So half of, the, the, of $1.4 million is $700,000 in tandem income every year. Next slide. Four park rangers cost 325000 a year, so that's about half of the $700,000 coming in. So half of that money could go to pay the pilots, and half of that money could go to the city to pay for the park rangers. Current status is that one-third goes to the pilots, so they'd be making more money, and two-thirds goes to your friend with the finger, so he'd be making less money, and right now zero goes to the city. Next slide. No solo training should happen at the Torrey Pines Glider Port. It is not a training site. It's not safe for training. We learned that in, uh, many years ago with the Hamby and Fishbach accident, both uh, under training, and more recently with the deaths of Valerio and Bangston just a few months ago, again, not rated for the site. Sales, food, and equipment, yeah, you can have session concessionaires for that, but they should not be running the site. Recreational pilots should be able to fly free, just as we use all of our public resources for free. Recreational liability can be covered by the California Recreational Use Statutes, which are already in place, and the Doc Weiler Waiver, which we've seen before and brought to this council. So it's very simple. It's gift-wrapped solution. And Barbara Bree, the Torrey Pines Glider Port is in your district. It's your chance to show us how your mayorship might work. Let's have a peek at it, please. Thank you. Lisa Marie is our final speaker. Lisa Marie, you'll have two minutes. <laughs> 